Hi, I'm Gerard. Whoa. Welcome to Marriage Wednesdays. First of all, let's just appreciate this beautiful hair of mine, okay? <laughs> Can't we just look at this hair right quick? I'm just saying, you know. Um, oh, You're just sorry. appreciative you ain't cutting it. <laughs> yes, but I needed a change. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to cut it because I promised him that I wouldn't. And he thinks that I'm going to cut it because you know I love cutting my hair. So I just colored my hair a little bit of this red. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling myself. I want to give a big shout out to Frontier Church. That's our church, Frontier Church in Leesburg. Um, Pastor Steve Yates, he is awesome. Yes, the yes. whole Frontier family, the whole Frontier family is really awesome. And I just want to give a big shout out to our church family. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we're going to calm it down <laughs> a little bit. Um, so today's topic is open marriages. Um, yeah. We kind of been hearing about. Yeah. Now, if y'all haven't caught the basis of this channel, this is godly basically marriage. basically a godly marriage Christian channel. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't abide by that, you can unsub and leave. I'm sorry. But we're going to speak truth here. That's right. So open marriages, you know. But it's like why a, a new it, thing now. Like, I mean, I guess it's been a thing before. Well, yeah, it was a thing before. It's just like... But I didn't really like pay it no attention. Until. It's more... Open now, you know. Yeah, it's it's like, like everything's in the open. Yeah. Can we just like? <laughs> so yeah. the the gist of open marriage is you are married to one person, mm -hmm. but you are openly. Um, I see it as adultery, a cheating. Yeah. But yeah. you're hooking up with other people, you know, just you know having your free ongoing relationship with them. But you're also married, you know, yes. and just doing amongst all sorts of other things. But you're married still with one person. Yeah. And you're supposedly still in love with them, but you're also in love with someone else. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me. That don't make sense to me either because marriage is an institution that God ordained for one man and one woman. And... There is nobody else that's supposed to come between us. First of all, what keeps, you know, coming to the forefront of my mind is, like, the kids. Like, if there was kids involved, like, dang, like, how would kids perceive, like, I don't care how tight you think you got it, stuff leaks, you know? And so, like, if kids are involved or or see or or hear, you know, it just it's messy. And then you are raising men. They may be little now, but they're gonna be men one day. Mm -hmm. Or she may be little now, but she's gonna be a woman one day. Yep. And you are really teaching your child how it's supposed to be done because they look for you. They look at you for example. So um, I wouldn't want to. First of all. That would never happen. Introducing <laughs> somebody into our marriage. Nope. Um, because God ordained marriage to be between two people. It's a covenant. That that's like it's sacred, you know? Like uh, marriage is oh, sacred. Yeah. But then they're just like, oh no, well, I just want to invent the perfect man. Well, let me tell you, baby, there is no perfect man. And um Gerard, he's wonderful. But like, there is no perfect man, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm flawed. I am totally flawed. I am too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. but guess what? We accept each other's flaws and we love each other. When I met my husband, I was 120 pounds. I had long hair. I was I was the Baywatch <laughs> chick that, you know, ran slow motion on the beach. Yeah, that was me. I was flying fine. Now listen, I'm fine fine now. It's just a little bit more of me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still fine fine. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm still me, you know, and, um, God has blessed me to realize that it doesn't matter if I gain a couple pounds, it doesn't matter, you know, if my hair is short or my hair is long, or if my hair is all different colors, I'm still me. And that's who he loved. He loved me. He fell in love with me. And, um, yeah, you don't piece together a person. Mm -mm. 
you can't say, oh, well, I'm going to take this one from him because he's smart. Oh, on oh, this one because he makes a lot of money. And, oh, this one, oh, because I just love the way he just treats me. And, no, you can't. You just pray that God will give you a man that he has set aside for you, ordained for you. And y'all just work it out together. I'm telling you, it's going to be craziness for five years. Yeah. Our marriage was not like, like, okay. I could see us doing this to death of this part. Because I kid you not, for like the first five years, I was just like, I married the wrong person. God, <laughs> God, I married the wrong person. I kid you not. It, Both of us were like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Here. Uh, I don't for know real. If this is right. Because this it, right, when we were though. dating, let me tell y'all, <clears throat> when we were dating, everything was just like, oh, oh my gosh, I love you so much. Oh, your farts don't even stink. Oh, no, my we weren't God. living together then, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I farted on the phone. You didn't know it, so. <laughs> but then we get married, and we like, oh my gosh, could you please pick up your stuff? Oh my God! So it's, it's two individuals who's just trying to like get their life together mm -hmm. and live with each other. You know, like we're not used to living with each other. You know, we were just like dating and going, mm -hmm. you know, to the movies and all that stuff like that. Now we're living together. Now we're married. So, it's just, it's a process, guys. So, instead of getting married and yeah. then saying, hey, why don't we just see other people while we're together? Don't get married. Exactly. In fact, just the, 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 after 30 days, if y'all ain't figured it out after y'all got married, you know what? Within them 30 days, just say, you know what? We shouldn't have did this. Let's no. just call it off. No, no, we, should, we shouldn't have got married. And just go about your separate ways and keep dating other people. What's the point of getting married and just disgracing, you know, something that God ordained? That's supposed to be sacred. Don't plan on having other people involved in it. That's right. I mean, I don't understand why you would even marry someone with your thought process of saying, I'm going to be in love with someone else mm -hmm. in the meantime anyway. That's so right. let's condition our marriage to an open marriage. Let's not get married at all. How about that? That's right. You know, save yourself from trouble. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Save yourself some heartache later. Mm -hmm. And probably a bunch of other mess that comes involved with that. Diseases. Diseases. <laughs> you're going to have people with broken hearts mm -hmm. that are actually going to take it. Y'all go. If people that ain't watch Thin Love Between Love and Hate, go watch that. Just stuff coming down the road. Just don't involve yourself in stuff that's going to in tragically for someone one way or another and we're just asking you to just stay consistent just stay prayerful you know like i know marriage is hard marriage is tough I, hey honey you don't have to talk i you mean you preaching to the choir i understand but um just stay prayerful you know because me and gerard we was going through it for a long time and sometimes we have our splat we are complete opposite mm -hmm. <laughs> is that not right <laughs> yes we are complete opposites and so i'm just asking you and encouraging you to just continue at it um it's, it's a beautiful thing to know that i am his and he is mine and that's it there's nobody else they say open marriage we say close marriage they say open marriage, we say monogamy. They say open marriage, we say just be faithful to each other. It's just you and me against the world. Exactly. And God got our back the whole way, so guess yep. what? We win. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. And here's another... Marriage Monday. Time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah.